Southern buttermilk biscuits are great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. With just five ingredients, they're super simple to make. In this video, I'll show you a few tricks that could get these biscuits to rise to fluffy perfection. All cooks have an Achilles heel. For me, it was biscuits. Whenever I made them, they would turn into little golden hockey pucks that I just couldn't even serve. So when this recipe came into the kitchen, it absolutely changed my world. It's all about keeping the butter cold. You want to start by cutting your butter into half-inch pieces and refrigerating them to get them nice and cool. Cold butter stays in bigger pieces when you incorporate it into the dough. So as your biscuits go in the oven, that butter melts, creating pockets of steam, which help give the biscuits a bit more rise. So now, let's put our butter in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. My butter should be cold by now. And in the meantime, I've chilled my flour, a bowl, my baking powder, as well as my food processor, bowl, and blade. We're using white lily flour, which is a lower protein flour made from soft winter wheat. It's regularly found in the south, um, but you could also get it online. And if you can't find it, all-purpose flour is fine, too. Just added baking powder, some salt. We're going to pulse this a couple times just to make sure that it's mixed. Now we add our butter. Remember, it's nice and cold. We're going to put it all in. And we're going to do 10 one-second bursts. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. You want the butter to be about the size of peas. No bigger. You want to pour your dry ingredients into the chilled bowl. Now we want to incorporate our buttermilk. You're going to want to do this with your fingers open, moving in circular motions. So add your buttermilk and begin incorporating it. It's better to do this by hand because you could really feel the moisture of the dough and make sure that everything's combined. It also helps you from not overworking the dough. Overworked dough will really toughen the biscuits. Your dough is ready when it all starts to come together. I'm not leaving too many stragglers behind as I move it around in the bowl. Okay, this looks just about ready. So you could just pick it up in one clean ball. I'm going to give my hands a quick wash because we're ready to roll out our dough. You want to lightly flour your work surface. Adding too much flour can also toughen the biscuit, so just go light. Put your dough on the counter. You want to pat and roll it out into a square that's about one inch thick. Here are a few of those tricks we were talking about before. You're going to want to dip your cutter in a little bit of the flour so that it moves smoothly up and down. Another trick is you want to push your cutter directly down and pull it straight up. Don't twist. You want to cut out as many as you can on this first go and place them on your baking sheet. Now here's another one of those tricks. You want these guys to sit shoulder to shoulder. You want them to touch each other. When they're like this, the steam won't have anywhere to go but up. Now we got four biscuits on our first round. We're only going to mash this dough together one more time and re-roll. By the third re-roll, it's just a big old messy biscuit and you don't really want that. And once again, pat it and roll it until you get a one inch thick square. You'll probably get two or three biscuits out of that second roll. Now we're going to brush these with a little buttermilk to help their color. You can still see those big chunks of butter that we were talking about before. Bake your biscuits until they're golden brown for about 20 to 25 minutes. Once your biscuits come out of the oven, just brush them with a little bit of melted butter. Oh, that smells so good. Now let's take a peek inside. Perfect. 
perfect. Look at all that fluffiness. And of course, we have to taste a bit. Nice and fluffy, with a hint of tang from that buttermilk, these can't be beat.